Hi guys and welcome to another mini tutorial with me, Carl Mitchell of the Tent Vesic Living History Group. Today I'm going to be looking at the gas mask of the German army towards the end of the war. The 1917 Leder mask or leather mask. Now these reproductions are available from all the usual vendors, Soldier of Fortune, Epic Militaria, IMA, places like that. And this is how they look when they come out of the box. Now, unfortunately, on the repros, they're made from green suede, and this isn't quite right. Also, the lenses are not right. They're far too flimsy. So in this tutorial, hopefully, I'll show you how you can slightly improve the mask. First of all, we're going to remove the filter and the lens protectors, the spider, as they're known as, shaped lens protectors. So we're going to unscrew these, and then we're going to take some three millimeter perspex and draw around the spider, each spider. Okay, so we're going to need two lenses. Now it's important that you take it from the inner diameter, so the right hand side as we look at it now, because else the lenses will be too big. Here you can see both lenses have been cut out. Once we've removed the film, we can place these in the eye sockets and replace the spider protectors. Now the problem with the repros is the material they're made from is green suede, which is completely wrong. Originals were made from chrome tan sheepskin sealed with mineral oil and they had lacquered seams. Here we can see an original. Now the, the lenses have turned yellow through age, but it gives you a representation of how they looked at the time, when they were introduced in 1917. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our mask and we're going to paint it with wood stain. Okay, any wood stain will do. Now it's important that you make sure that you get a good liberal stain across the whole of the surface of the mask, covering all suede parts and along the seams where it joins the face. Now, originals had lacquered seams, very similar to the SBR tutorial we did before. So to replicate this, I am using, I'm going to paint the seams and over the points where the harness fixes with acrylic paint. Here we can see the mask once it's started to dry. Okay, so you can see it's completely changed the outside look of the mask. Where the filter housing is, there's a little attachment point for a lace. This was to stop the filter dropping and to keep it secure. Stop the filter dropping in the way when you're firing. This lace goes around the back of the head and ties to a small Zeltbarn button. Here's the mask as we look at it from both sides. And finally, here's the mask as it looks now from the front. And I'm sure you'll agree it's quite an improvement. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you take this video on board and this can help for you German reenactors. And I hope you like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you again soon. Thanks for watching.